The Qualcomm Software Center seamlessly manages Qualcomm Technologies tools, SDKs, and software, all in one convenient place. This one-stop shop provides an easy access to a web portal and the Qualcomm Software Center app, where you can access the Qualcomm Launcher. In addition to the graphical user interface, the Qualcomm Software Center features a command line interface mode. Are you ready to get started in the developer journey? We've got you covered with four steps, which we will go over in more detail. These include discovery, setup, build, and load and configure. First, let's download and install the Qualcomm Software Center application from softwarecenter.qualcomm.com. Log in with your Qualcomm registered username and click the Download Software Center button. A downloadable file is saved in your local directory. Next, let's extract the software. On Ubuntu, for example, run the command sudo dpkg-i installername.deb, which can take up to one minute. Once downloaded, the Qualcomm Software Center tool is ready for use. The first step in the developer's journey is discovery. Let's go to Qualcomm Software Center application landing page and launch Qualcomm Launcher by clicking Start Launcher. Now let's specify the environment. For this example, we are going to click the IoT button for category and select Qualcomm QCM 6490 for Qualcomm RB3 Gen 2 for chipset. Next, select the host operating system. I am using Ubuntu, so I'm going to select Linux. Now select LE for the target operating system. We are finished with the discovery stage. Click Next. Now we're going to select the base workspace path, which is where Qualcomm RB3 Gen 2 software is going to be downloaded. Click the workspace button and select the workspace directory. Click Open. Next, select the software and build. For more information on selecting software, please visit the Qualcomm Linux webpage and find Build with CLI. Make sure you have at least 200 gigabytes of free disk space to download software and binaries. For this example, I selected QCM 6490 in Build 1.0. Next, select the distribution. Distribution includes the software configuration, source code, binary library, and SDKs you want to use. Click the download button on the top right to download the Qualcomm software. Download has two steps, initialization and download. Toggle the caret button to show or hide the download progress status. It typically takes two to three minutes to download the whole Qualcomm RB3 Gen 2 software. The beauty of using Qualcomm Software Center's launcher is we do all the sync commands on the back end for you. Once the download is complete, you are now ready to compile the software through Qualcomm Software Center. Compiling software through the Qualcomm Software Center is as easy as clicking the Compile button. As you saw while downloading software, you may toggle the caret button to see or hide the details of the compilation. This example shows seven software images being compiled. The Qualcomm launcher starts to compile each image one by one. The software images are very fast to compile usually taking two to three minutes to compile each firmware image. Now it is compiling the ADSP software image. The Qualcomm launcher, as you can see here, remembers all the commands and the build environment for all software images on the back end. So users do not have to worry about any of those details. The LE image takes the longest time, 
between two and a half and three hours to compile. It takes a total of about three hours to compile all software images. And the nice thing about the Qualcomm launcher is that it is fully automated. To review the progress of a compilation, you can always toggle the caret button. For the software images currently being compiled, it shows compiling in the status bar, while the other software images show that it is in the initializing state. Now that ADSP compilation is complete, the Qualcomm Software Center's launcher moves to the next software image compilation. As we mentioned earlier, the LE images takes the longest time to compile. Now that the software images are compiled, the status shows as compilation complete. You can see all the logs for each image. Now we are ready to move on to the flashing stage by clicking the next button. Now we are ready to flash the device. First, we set the Qualcomm RB3 Gen 2 device to emergency download mode or EDL mode. You may follow the steps in the Qualcomm Linux quick start guide on how to set your device to EDL mode. Once in EDL mode, when connected through the USB port, Qualcomm Software Center's launcher automatically enumerates the device. Click the next button to flash the device. When you click the flash button, the executables are uploaded to the device. It typically takes one to two minutes to flash a device. Now you may use ADB commands to talk to the device. Type ADB devices to see the device is ready. Qualcomm Software Center has a command line interface, or CLI, for engineers who prefer commands instead of a graphical user interface. It features the most used commands. Login, download, compile, and workspace. The login command logs into the Qualcomm Software Center and provides the credentials for future operations. The download command does two things. It discovers the software and fetches the software. Refer to the Qualcomm Linux web portal for particular builds and distributions. The compile command is used to compile software images. The workspace command provides a snapshot of current workspaces. It is especially useful when we work with multiple builds, and it helps us keep track of the mappings of workspaces and builds. With these commands, the Qualcomm Software Center command line interface, or QSC CLI, can do almost everything the Qualcomm Software Center launcher does. Follow these steps. Type QSC CLI U with your username, then enter your password. For this demonstration, let's create a new workspace. Type in QSC CLI download command. Type in product, build, and distro. Now enter your credentials, including your password, and it will start to sync the software. If I type QSC CLI workspace dash dash list, it shows all the workspaces we have created. Now let's compile our workspace. Type in QSC CLI compile dash dash workspace path. After two and a half to three hours, the compilation will be done and it will be ready for flashing to the device. At this point, we've successfully completed the first four steps in the developer's journey using Qualcomm Software Center. We started by downloading and extracting the QSC application. In the discovery step, we launched the Qualcomm launcher, set up the environment, and hosted it on a target OS. After that, in the setup stage, we selected the software build and downloaded it. In the build step, we compiled the software images. And finally, we flashed the compiled images to our Qualcomm RB3 Gen 2 device. 
We also saw how to execute these commands using the Qualcomm Software Center command line tool.